Good afternoon. My name is Larry Klayman. and you know me as the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm also a former federal prosecutor. I've been a lawyer for almost 40 years. And I have to tell you, the nomination of President Trump, of Neil Gorsuch, who is a staunch conservative, strict constructionist of the Constitution, was an excellent nomination. But we now know that this nomination is going to be opposed by Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and the Democrats, regardless of his qualifications. In fact, he had a unanimous confirmation, this is Judge Gorsuch, when he was up to be on the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. Unanimous, no opposition. But the Democrats are going to oppose it anyway. And what they're claiming is, is that the Republicans stole the seat from President Obama. We know that going back before the elections of November 8, 2016, that the nominee of President Obama, a guy named Garland, was not uh, in fact confirmed because the Republicans held back that confirmation since there's a history and practice of not confirming a Supreme Court nominee when there's a presidential election going on. That's to allow the new president, pursuant to the votes of the American people, to choose the justice that they want. This allegation that the Republicans have stolen the nomination of a Supreme Court justice from the Democrats is not only outrageous, but it's hypocritical. And let's go back to the death of Antonin Scalia, a very staunch conservative, someone who was thought of very highly on the court by not just conservatives, by, but everyone who could appreciate his intellect. He died mysteriously months before Garland was nominated by Obama in a Texas hotel room with a pillow over his head. There have been reports that that death was not exactly of natural causes. In fact, it's very strange because I had seen Justice Scalia not long before that and he looked like, frankly, he was in great health. There were reports in various publications that, in fact, it may not have been natural causes and one of the publications, the National Enquirer, which doesn't always get things wrong, it is a tabloid, but it has a degree of respectability, said that a Washington source had revealed that a prostitute had been sent by the CIA and other government sources to possibly poison uh, Mr. Scalia, Justice Scalia. Now, I don't know whether that's the case or not. Uh, we had a Hollywood movie about that years ago called The Pelican Brief, a book written by John Gorsham. But, Grisham. But the reality here is, is that this needs to be investigated. And for the Democrats to claim that the seat was stolen from them, when in fact there may be skullduggery behind the death of Antonin Scalia. That's a serious issue. In addition, the family of Justice Scalia did not want an autopsy. And in fact, a Texas judge upheld their wishes. Now, why wouldn't you have an autopsy for a Supreme Court justice, someone who in stature is right up there with the President of the United States? It doesn't make any sense. And was it because of this? And I don't mean to in any way dismerge the reputation of Justice Scalia. He was a great man. But we need to find the reasons for this. And therefore, we are launching today at Freedom Watch an investigation into the death of Antonin Scalia. Because we need to know exactly what went on, particularly since the Democrats are claiming the seat was stolen from them. This is not a partisan issue. Bad things do happen in the United States as they do around the world. There have been various assassinations over the course of history that have been unexplained, including that of a Democrat, John F. Kennedy, who I loved as a young boy. Today, he probably would have been a conservative. But the reality is, is that Kennedy to this day, and I visited the museum uh, where he was shot in Dallas just months ago, on the front of that museum, it says the alleged assassin of John F. Kennedy, Lee Harvey Oswald. People still don't know exactly the story. It's very important for history, and it's very important, frankly, to push the Democrats back into their place, that this needs to be investigated. Because whoever was involved, if anyone was involved, needs to be uncovered. So I want to raise two points today. This is a great nominee for the Supreme Court, Neil Gorsuch. He should be confirmed. He previously was confirmed as a Tenth Circuit Justice, 96 to 0, no opposition. Senator Schumer is going to do his best to derail the nomination. He's a dishonest, corrupt lowlife as far as I'm concerned. He's been fomenting uh, violence with regard to uh, President Trump's executive immigration order, just calling a short pause on immigration from certain Muslim countries. And we need to push back here. So please support Freedom Watch in this investigation and in the other matters that we do. 
go to freedomwatchusa.org, freedomwatchusa.org. You know, people have called me a conspiracy theorist, but you know what? Conspiracies do happen, and they need to be investigated. God bless you. God bless the nation. And I wish you a very good day.